What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt DeVille with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Abel Sanchez. Abel Sanchez says that David Benavidez beats Canelo Alvarez. Abel, Abel Sanchez puts David Benavidez in a rare category of the fighter that can beat Canelo Alvarez. According to Sanchez, Benavidez needs to keep winning and let that put pressure on Canelo rather than complaining to the media about the Mexican star ignoring him. Sanchez feels that Canelo will eventually fight Benavidez in three or four years. That's wishful thinking on his part because Canelo has already said that he doesn't want to fight Mexican fighters. He says that I think Canelo is in a position where it doesn't matter and he doesn't give a shit what anyone says, Abel Sanchez said. He said Canelo is in a position where he can fight a guy off the street and he's going to make a lot of money. So what people say doesn't really matter to him, in my opinion. What David needs to do is continue and stay busy, be a shadow instead of talking so much. Jose Benavidez Sr., I love him. He's a good friend of mine, but it's not going to happen the more they talk. Canelo is in a position where the more you talk, the less I'm going to think about you. So just stay busy, keep winning, let the natural part do its thing. Canelo is only 32 or 33, and the other kid, Benavidez, is 25 or 26. So it's going to happen three or four years down the road. Quit pushing it. Just fight the guys you're fighting, and eventually the fight is going to happen. That's why Canelo-Golovkin fight didn't happen earlier, because Golovkin's people kept pushing and kept on talking and kept on talking. Canelo is in a position where it's okay. Keep talking. What's the difference? Does it make? He's the one in charge, same as Floyd when he was in his heyday. He's the one that was in charge. He dictated the terms and he dictated when and how. He said, I just think David needs to stay busy and fight and that fight will happen. It will happen maybe towards the end of Canelo's career, but it will happen. And I don't think there's anybody up there other than Bivol and Benavidez or Better Beef. At 168, there's nobody that can touch Canelo other than Better Benavidez. No, said Sanchez. When asked if Jamal Charlo could beat Canelo, he said, I don't think he's Jamal Charlo is busy enough. As it was in the last fight and even the other Charlo Jamal fight, when it gets thick in there, they're not resilient. They don't come out and get it. They coast and they try to get over the fight and win. I'm not going to say they have no heart because all fighters that climb through the ropes have a big, big heart. When it comes to thick in there, he, Jamal Charlo, doesn't perform as well, okay? And man, he, man, he, look, Abel talks a lot of shit. <laughs> okay, let's get to what he's talking. He said, I think Benavidez is a threat now. Bivol is, is beaten. Bivol has beaten him at a higher weight. That's the only difference. Benavidez is a genuine threat, in my opinion. Um, and he also said he doesn't fight safety first. And from what I understand, that's exactly what he did. He attacked Canelo. He beat Canelo to the punch, and he outmuscled him and outpowered him. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, Benavidez is a threat. Um, anyway, that's what he said. He thinks that he beats him. Uh, let me counterpunch. What I saw from Canelo Alvarez, I don't know if he was fatigued, like he said, because he did say he was fatigued. I just dropped a video on that today or this morning or whenever. And... Um, if he fights anybody that busy like David Benavidez, it's going to be a lot of problems for him. See, the one thing Bibble did was stay busy. And I see what Abel's saying. How you beat Canelo, you stay busy. Okay? It doesn't matter what you do. If you start to coast, then the politics are going to take its toll. Okay? They're going to come into play because you're, ju you're doing just as much as the guy that makes all the money. So how are you going to defeat that guy that's making all the money? You're not. You're not going to get a decision against someone that you equally beat them. You might have inched them. You're not going to get the decision. But if you stay busy and you give them without a doubt uh, round after round why you should win that round, round after round, you do understand that th that's how Bivol got it done. 
And I think David Benavidez, the, the speed and the way he fights, yeah, I think he's a real threat to a guy like ben, uh, Canelo because Canelo, his work rate has not been like it used to be. Uh, he places a lot of punches. He times a lot of punches. Again, I think he's trying to be a bigger, bulkier, thicker Mayweather the way he tries to selectively throw shots, which can be smart, but it can also be hiding other things that he's running out of um, stamina, endurance, work rate. And someone like David Benavidez, as fast as he is, as tall as he is, he might have a problem. But then again, Canelo can punch too. So you can't just say that he's just going to outwork Canelo. And also Canelo has something that people overlook, uh, and that's his durability. He has a good chin. So again, I want to see the fight. I do agree with Abel also. These guys need to, need to just start fighting each other, stop complaining, get in there, kick some ass, and shut up. That fight will happen. And then let's look at it this way. Canelo Alvarez, if he fights him in three or four years, that means that's a guy that's been in the game 20 plus years. And I think Canelo is making a big mistake not fighting David Benavidez now, simply because if he's able to beat him now, you get rid of him now because before he becomes a problem later on down the way. Because if this is two or three years later, it will be no different from someone like Oscar De La Hoya beating Julio Cesar Chavez. Yeah, in 93 or 94, he couldn't fuck with Julio Cesar Chavez. Oscar couldn't. He got dropped in sparring for Christ's sake. But you let 94, 95, 96, Oscar was ready to get him. OK, and that is the effectiveness of the waiting game. But you guys tell me what you think of Abel Sanchez saying that he thinks David Benavidez beats Canelo Alvarez. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been Counterpunch. Peace.